Greetings everyone! Not too long ago, I had ChatGDP guide me through some fundamental Blender modeling, which was actually decent. But now, GTP4 has been partially unveiled in ChatGDP+, and I thought it'd be fascinating to see if it could actually generate 3D models using Python scripts. The first thing I decided to try was asking if it could create a fidget toy using Blender's Python scripting. When I finished writing the script, I copied it and put it in Blender and hit run and got this unique result. While it didn't quite do what I was picturing, it did actually manage to create something unique enough to pique my interest, as it seemed to create a solar system-like object that was actually animated. Which is why I guess it decided that was fidgety, because it was animated. What's even better about this is that since it's Python script, you can actually change a couple values to change the sphere size or distance away from the main object. All you need to do is hit run again to see the result. From here, I tried doing some more scripts and got varying results. Some of them would just crash Blender immediately, and I could probably fix it if my Python skills were just a hair sharper. One of the more interesting results I got was a vase. It managed to create a unique vase that was also very easy to edit, so that I could get different heights and varying degrees of randomness. It was also kind of cool that it would delete the previous one every time you hit run, so it's just like you're editing the model. Which, I guess, in a sense, you are, since it's just code. Another thing I tried doing was creating a futuristic building. Unfortunately, all it seemed to be able to do was create a rectangle and add some floors. Ironically, it also shaded the building this odd blue color. So, as a result of that, I decided to do a quick render. At least, after making the building transparent enough to actually see the floors. Because, yeah, otherwise those were not seen at all. I ended up getting it like this. Another thing that I managed to get GTP4 to actually make was a sphere with holes in it. This script originally kept crashing Blender until I lowered the number of cuts to something that my system was actually able to handle. Though I think the Mac should have been able to handle it, and in a future version of Blender, I'm pretty sure Booleans will work, as I'm pretty sure it has a bug, at least with Macs, as they seem to crash my system way more than they should. Now that I know it will work, I want to see if I can be more specific in the way I word things to create this basic wall that I just modeled up real quick. During this test, I literally specified how many units I wanted it, told it what I wanted it to move in edit mode and how much, and add this modifiers at specific times. The first time I messed up and by not mentioning one of the times moving in edit mode, and as a result it actually created this the first time. After that, it was great. Overall, while it performed admirably when given clear directions on the wall creation, and only stumbled when I messed up on the steps, the geometry node portion that I was hoping to get working unfortunately didn't go as smoothly. It seemed to attempt adding non-existent nodes in Blender without substituting them with alternative nodes that could achieve similar results. And I tried to fix this by asking it to fix it, but it just didn't really work. And after a certain point of troubleshooting, it seemed to just keep repeating itself, which is kind of unfortunate. Though really, I can't be upset as it literally turned my instructions into Python scripts, at least for the most part. Well, now that I'm done experimenting, I might as well 3D print these and see these AI creations in the physical world. They actually turned out quite well, and I'm extremely impressed by GTP4's capabilities in this area. 
and I even customized the initial result as a render, as I thought it was just too interesting to not do something with it. So, regard this, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Farewell! Slash bye! Actually, never mind, I'm not quite done yet. I thought these clips were too cool to leave out, so here they are. Haley.